Welcome back. We're SuicideFantasyFootball.com, bringing you the divisional playoff. The playoff playoff. division. That's right. Fantasy football doesn't end when the regular season does. If you're a real fantasy geek like we are. Fantasy professional, we call it. You're playing fantasy through the playoffs. That's so right. we're going to tell you this week how your players rank starting at the quarterback position. You should really only be top four is what you're looking at if you sure. play fantasy football in the playoffs, Jim. You've got Breeze over Rodgers as your number one quarterback this week. It, it's kind Cross of a toss-up. Up. You have to put someone first? Yeah, you got to go some way. I think Breeze... Just because the way that they throw the ball, and even when the running backs get involved in it, it's from a pass. It's not really from a run. Now, if Mark Ingram was healthy, I think that would make more of a running game in there. Pierre Thomas, Sproles are all scat backs out of there. I don't think they're going to run as much. I think that you're going to have to look at that. See, I think because Green Bay's playing at home, and the Giants' defense is nowhere near as good as the Niners' defense. That's what's making me put Aaron Rodgers over Drew Brees. But I'm with you. It is kind of a Plus, one. they're not running against the Niners if they're going to score to throw on the ball. That's I do agree with that part of it. I, I do agree right. with that part of it. But, dude, on the Packers' side, what, you think Ryan Grant's going to win the game for him? Maybe. Not, not win Stop. the game. Not win the game. There's, a, there's as much of a chance that Alex Smith is going to put the team on his back as there is Ryan Grant's going to nah, Ryan Grant's not going not, not to win the game. But. All right, so you got your three and your four. You got Brady as number three. Gotta be. You got Tim T. No. Hater. She blows isn't on my on my list. As he shouldn't be, dude. Because Eli, Eli Manning, Manning. Eli Manning is statistically great season. You know, winning games, but putting up huge points in fantasy football. If there was a fifth guy, who would it be? Uh, fifth guy. I don't know, Flacco, maybe? <laughs> You're such a fucking hater. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would be Tebow. It would be Tebow absolutely. For the fifth Fantasy football, absolutely. And I will I will say, listen, it would partially be Tebow because he's going against the Patriots yeah, defense. Yeah, they're playing a bad defense. It's definitely not Alex Smith. It's not Flacco. It's not Tyler Yates. So who else could it be? It's got Anyone to be. else that you would consider besides those top four no, guys? You're no. not considering Tebow at all. No. Even in our league where you get nine points for a Russian touchdown. Not over Manning, no. I agree with you, too, not over Manning. All right, that's quarterbacks. We're going to come back and do the rest of the positions and then make our picks. So watch the rest of our videos. Subscribe if you like us. Or even if you hate us and just want to talk shit, we like that, too. Used to be the two fat guys. We're soon going to be the two skinny bald guys. (laughs) I'm going to be the not as fat. Fat guy. Well. Yeah, not yeah, skinny. Never. Yeah, yeah. I'll still keep putting my head up forward, though, Jim, so no one sees how large your freaking dome actually right, is. Yeah. All right, we'll be back for running backs in a minute. Signing out. Fantasy Football Overload, Monday nights, Blog Talk Radio, 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock when Blog Talk doesn't shit the bed on us like it did tonight. We'll be back next week to talk about this week's matchups and then next week, the big games in the playoffs. That's right. <laughs>